I don't have any lip gloss at all. So. You look amazing. Oh, I think I started it. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, looking fabulous. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. This is Shade Y Adu, personal brand strategist, speaker, coach, founder of ShadeYadu.com, where we help women entrepreneurs brand their greatness and profit from their brilliance. And welcome to episode six of Brand on Blab, where we blab about branding. This week, this week, we have the one, the only, the personality, the brand ambassador, the host, the singer, the Frequent media personality, Miss Renatha Whitaker, and well, she's here to speak to us. And we're going to interview her and chat with her all day, every day. So, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat box. We'll be opening up the chat for people to get in. Um, you can get into the the hot seat if you would love to speak to Miss Renatha. And I just want to talk to her today because today she was featured on a segment on Dr. Oz. So I just want to get into the nitty gritty. What was the segment about? How did you get that opportunity? And what actually happened with you and Dr. Oz? So, um, hello everyone. How are you this evening? Excellent, good. Again, like she said, my name is Renata with a comedian personality extraordinaire with my brand on Fleek, right? Do we still say Fleek, do we? <laughs> yeah. I do. <did. laughs> Okay, but anywho, so um, today's show with Dr. Oz was about a low calorie diet. Um, if you don't already know, I um, host a Facebook group called Row Fit 35. Now, of course, I've been on the slim down for quite a long time. If you can't tell already, I am a big girl, but the weight is coming off. This is my third time around. And um, the opportunity for Dr. Oz came up because of my Facebook group, RoFit35. Uh, I, I did a low calorie diet and um, basically it was two of us, myself and another young lady. And the, port, the part that I was supposed to do was um, the food of the diet. And the diet was called a five day fast of, um, of 30 days of the month five days you're fasting. So this was something that I tried out. Am I still doing it? No, <laughs> because you know, I'm all, you're always trying something new when you're dieting and when you're on a weight loss journey, you know, it's always good to try something new. So I said, Hey, what the heck? I'm trying something new. And the reason why I was able to get on this show is because I was on Dr. Oz a couple years ago. How about that? In 2013. Ooh. Um, so, you know, they called me back and since this show that aired today, actually, they've been calling me like every week. So I'm I'm kind of unofficially a reoccurring guest for the Dr. Oz show. You'll be seeing me. You know. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just amazing. God is so good. Um, he gave me this personality, you know, to to let the people to to let the people see and encourage the people and, you know, let the people be encouraged. So, you know, I'm who am I to say no? And who am I to, um, you know, you know, just, you know, let stuff fall to the wayside. So, you know, that was the Dr. Ross show today. And that's what's going to be coming up to. I actually have two shows to do with them next week. So be on the lookout for more of Renato on the Dr. Oz show. Awesome. So this is becoming. So how did you get into doing media? Because Dr. Oz is not the only show that you've been on. So how did right. you get into just being a media personality and getting these recurring roles on television day, day daytime um talk shows and television shows well it's um so let me just take you way back okay way back let's go way back to 1988 no i'm not gonna take you take you that far back but you know i've been doing entertainment and you know making people smile for a long time and of course you find that gift, you know, it's always when you're in college, right? You find that, you know, you have these special gifts and you have these talents that you really never tapped into fully until you get to college. So I've always, um, you know, hosted events in college and I've always sang the national anthem at the lacrosse game and at the soccer game and the basketball game. Um, so it started back then when I was in college. Um, 
But since then, I graduated, you know, of course, I graduated and um, I started get, asking people to do the same thing. Can you sing to this? Can you sing to that? And of course, in church, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Okay. Who knows his name is Jesus? Raise your hand. Yes. <laughs> um, so always singing it. Yes. Thank you. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, yes. Praise the Lord. Okay. So, um, you know, in church, um, I'm always the one hosting the Women's Day events, you know, and hosting the choir day and hosting all these things. Um, so, of course, that experience and that training ground, because that's exactly what it is, training ground. Hello. Yeah. Um, has um, gotten me to the person that I am today. But let me just take you um, a little further back to 2010. I was I had the opportunity to sing with Jennifer Hudson at the, at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Um, in Newark, New Jersey, if you're familiar with Jersey, New Jersey Performing Arts Center is a huge venue in Jersey where um, big talents come to play. Basically, they book tours at NJ Pack, Prudential Center, Madison Square Garden, all one in the same. So um, and I had front row seats to the, to the Jennifer Hudson show, and she did her show. Now, let me just tell you, this is no shade to Jay Hud, <laughs> but, you know, the crowd was it was a gala. She was performing for a gala, okay? So the crowd, you know, they were sitting in the audience with their tuxes on and their ball gowns, and they were kind of stuffy, okay? And they really weren't feeling J-Hud. They were just sitting there like, mm-hmm. So J-Hud had, had to come up with something grand. So she went into the audience, and she did a crowd participation song. Of course, the first one on the front row with their hands up was Renasa, me, me, me. So I was the first one and she let sing the song. Something about music, 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 music. I don't know what it was. But <laughs> she um I was the first person she asked to sing, but she got she did about five other more people. And I when she finished the song, she asked me to come on stage and sing with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. She, okay, did you did you can, can I get a hint? Amen. So she <laughs> she asked me to come on stage and sing the next song with her. So I got on stage. I had about 10 minutes on stage with her. We did Sweet Thing. Was it Sweet Thing? Yeah, Sweet Thing. Yeah, we did Sweet Thing. Shaka. Hey, Shaka. Um, yes. So we did Sweet Thing. Tow it up. It is on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel. Oh, We're not the same. Hey, this is recording. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is on YouTube. I am singing and I look a little different because I had a perm, praise the Lord. Um, and I was a little chunky. I think I was about 325 pounds. <laughs> but um, that's me. Okay. So, I mean, I sang. Oh, it was an awesome, amazing experience. The next day after that, I, I, um, I opened up my Twitter account and it's been on ever since. <laughs> So because of that experience, you know, I, I found that, hey, well, maybe I can, you know, um, apply for auditions, apply for castings, apply for, you know, anything that's possible. So I've been on Rachel Ray show. I've been on Dr. Phil's show. I've been on The Revolution. I've been on uh, Wendy show. I've been on, gosh, Dr. Oz. Um, where else? Um, well, I've been on all the shows that Oprah has created. And um, but I haven't been to Oprah yet. Okay, can I say yes? Yet? Can I get an amen yes. for yet? Okay, can I get a yes. yet please? Yes. Okay, yes. I, I, she doesn't have a show, but Homegirl does have a network. Ooh. Okay, and you will be seeing one off of, All right. <laughs> so ever since then, I've just been rocking out with um with these shows and also um hosting um well not necessarily hosting but um doing um red carpets and um doing backstage interviews and just you know in my blog. My blog is full figure fabulous and on the way to fit.com. <laughs> um, and as a result of the Dr. Phil show is, is, um, was the full figure fabulous and on the way to fit blog. And that's been very successful. And now I have the row fit 35 Facebook page. So, I mean, you know, anything's possible because Christ, we can do, you can do anything that you want to do through Christ. My, um, you know, not, not, what I'm doing right now isn't something that I've learned, you know, it's in me, you know, so it's just, it's just been a blast. And I, and this media personality has always been around for 35 years. <laughs> and now it's coming up. And how did you get these opportunities to actually get on television? You told us about a little bit. I hear you. Echo. Can anybody else hear my echo? No. Okay. I hope it's just me. 
Oh, you hear the mm-hmm. echo too? Is it going? It's it's not there anymore. I hope it's gone. How did you get on these shows to actually be on segments? Now we can figure out how to get in the audience and get some tickets and things like that. <laughs> but literally, I like I don't even have the screenshots. I wish I could post the pictures. You're on. <laughs> The show, like yeah. talking to them, they know you. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have actual segments by myself. Doctor Oz knows my name when he sees me in the hallway. He says Renata, you know. Um, so this is how it's. I mean, I've been on several casting sites, and one of the main sites that I've been on is RealityWanted.com. And since RealityWanted.com um they like i said they keep your name and when you have and this is not me patting myself on the back this is just you know letting you know that this is basically what it is i have a huge personality and tv likes people with large personalities not you know shenanay and them i'm talking about somebody who has genuinely large personalities that will bring people to the television screen and basically that's you know that i mean it's just, it's just god giving my personality and i'm i'm telling you when i did the show that aired today every producer on the dr Ra show said we're going to be calling you for everything and it, and and they've been faithful they've been calling me every week i'm i taped another show that aired two fridays ago and i'm taping another show i'm taping two shows next week so <laughs> every producer literally is like we need you for this we need you for that we need you for, you know so it's basically personality they want big bold personalities to come to the table and to make sure and to have people come to you know that want to that makes people want to click on channel five and click on the dr Ra show it's channel five here in my town <laughs> what so that's basically it. i mean there's nothing I'm, add, I'm I'm adding you on on Facebook. I'm tweeting on uh, Facebook giving this out so people know what you said. TV oh, okay. TV likes big and bold personalities. Like that's how you get it yeah. on and make it happen. So that's yeah, awesome. absolutely. that personality is it's it's huge, and you're getting more opportunities from other shows now. What what I really want to know is, you know, we're using Blab. We're using new technology. When are you going to start yeah. using your big personality on Periscope? Oh, you tried it. Oh, you tried it. Yeah. You tried it, girl. <laughs> I've been to get on Periscope for so long. And she... I've been on. I did a show. I did a scope. I did One a scope. scope. One scope. You know how many times Carrie right. Pusher says, you got to scope. You got to scope consistently. You got to scope daily. In addition to what you do, it's going to really take catapult your brand and get more people to see you. So I'm just right. out there. Definitely do it because... Another person who I um, pushed to get on Periscope, she she's on she's a media personality too. She's on Television Weekly, and there's mm-hmm. been oh don't feel bad, I'm, <laughs> Kay Collins. Wait a minute, I you got to scope too, thank you. Kimberly. Thank you, Kay Collins. Ted, okay. Thank you, Pumpkin. Okay, Look. scoping it's a huge way to shift your brand, and when you're on the Doctor Oz show, I keep d- scope from the green room. I've been giving so many people because I know because. Because I'm in this space now pushing Periscope, I meet a lot of people. And a couple of the people that I meet are on television. They have regular segments on TV, whether they are the the resident life coach on television, the resident speaker or expert on X amount of topics. And what they're doing is they're also utilizing their celebrity on television to also build up a fan base on Periscope. So you would easily build a following on the platform because you have a personality. People like you. You know what? See, when you get in that, when you get to that green room, you're, I mean, and there's a lot of people walking around. So, you know what? That's even more reason why I should be periscoping while I'm in the green room. <laughs> because people, I, I mean, okay, people okay, have been to a green room. I don't think I've been to one. Not yet. One day. So, <laughs> there's people that want to know what's going on behind the scenes. They want to see that regular people like, like you and me can do it. So, you're an inspiration, yeah. okay. you know? So, I really. I got you. I got you. I have a like I said, I'm taping it. I'm taping the show on Wednesday and Friday. So boom, Periscope Wednesday and Friday. Be on the yes. lookout. Let me see who's gonna here. be on there because we <laughs> let me see who's here. Who's here? Kimberly, make sure you go to my scope. Rachel, okay. <laughs> Kimberly and Rachel, make sure you all go. Yeah, Kimberly, Rachel in the room. Other people coming in and out. There are usually people come in and out all the time. Yes, I got issues. <laughs> I really want people to do it. Um 
I was just, before I got onto this broadcast, I was just watching Periscope. Two people that are just killing it. One guy is yeah. uh, Zach Spooler. I forgot his last name, but Zach quit his job at the age of 22. And now he just does his thing on Periscope full time. Um, wow. So there's people. And then who else? Ebong. I mean, he's just killing it. Ebon Eka is killing it on Periscope. Uh, I mean, just so many people are really killing it and monetizing it in a way where they're using their celebrity. They're using their platform. They're really build a fan base. Oh my God. I hope nobody heard that. I'm on, I'm on I'm it. I'm telling people like, Wednesday in the green room. It's too late. <laughs> too late for people to really, because by that time it's going to be like too late. So I really yeah. want people to yeah. be successful and really start killing it on the platform. Perry Pusher. Like Perry Pusher. So what I wanted to, let's <laughs> dig into some other things. So Renatha, you are also not just a singer, but you're a singer. So ah, I got a big mouth. <laughs> what is how did you know, in addition to this personality, that you had the gift of just your voice, that the vocals? How did you know? Um, I always tell this story, and it's true. I was eight years old. <laughs> I was in a tub. <clears throat> And I started to sing the greatest love of all. And I noticed that I was good. <laughs> and of course, um, 12 years old, got into um, got into church for real, you know, because I got saved for real, praise the Lord. Um, and of course, what's the first thing you do when you join church? You join the choir. So I've been in the choir ever since. And I've just been singing and, um, you know, giving God praise with my voice ever since. Yeah. So that's that's when um, it's a joy to be able to, you know, um, make people. Let me see. And then whenever someone asks me to sing, I always say. Um, if I if I'm going to sing for you, I, I want I want you to I want to sing for you because you need it. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Amen. You know, because um, I feel like it's something that you that can be done, that can make somebody um, feel better and feel better better than they did before before they asked me to sing, because they asked me for a reason, right? Mm. Yeah. She gonna yeah. sing for us. My, my mother was like, is she gonna be singing? I was like, I didn't ask her, but um, we can put her on the spot. <laughs> I ain't got no song. Look, y'all need it. Y'all need it. We're going to get a song out. <laughs> We're going to get a song sung sooner or later from Renata. And even if you just do covers on Periscope, that would be, that will be killing it. Come on there and do, do like viewers choice scopes where they pick the song oh. for you and you just start singing. Because okay. there are people who are like Periscope scouts. They giving people deals on Periscope. <laughs> so, oh, wow. So there's going to be, wow. there's definitely going to be some talent discovered on the platform and people are using Amen. even black some people are using these different platforms to uh discover talent uh the nappy roots they their producer manager is on here quite frequently and they did they did a song with somebody that was on um a guitarist or something he was they met him up somewhere and they did something together so people are definitely collaborating wow. yeah there was a song that was written on this platform there was some artists and they wrote a song together so it is definitely a platform where this blab is more collaborative, but Periscope yeah. is definitely for informational and people who are personalities that can carry the show by themselves. The one man band show, they definitely can, um, can do it. So I love, um, I really do love that. Uh, so I really want to know a little bit more. So you, you talked a little bit more about your, uh, your fitness journey. And I know more people are really interested in hearing about how did you lose weight? How much weight did you lose? And what are you doing in the pro What are you currently doing now? So here's my fitness journey. Um, again, everything happens when I'm eight years old, right? <laughs> I've always been the biggest, the tallest person in the room, right? And cause I'm 5'11". Um, and so, and when I got to college, I was about 165 when 185 when I graduated from high school. Um, I was all I've always been a thick girl, but I had never been over 300 pounds. 
So um, in about 2009, I found a weight loss um, something. I don't even want to child. I don't, I, don't look it up. Please, people, don't look it up because it's bad for you. But I, call, I did this thing called the milk diet. Yeah, it's called the milk diet or the bee mm. diet. The milk and bee diet, um, I lost 60 pounds in four months. That was in 2009. Mm. Um, now you see all these shows, extreme weight loss, um, and what is it? Um, biggest loser and all those things. They encourage you to lose all this weight in a short amount of time, but it's not good. Mm -hmm. for you. So I lost this weight in, in 2009, but because it was lost the incorrect way, um, I gained it all mm -hmm. back and I got back up to 325. Mm -hmm. Boom. So on, in 2012, uh, I said, you know what, and, and realized, what is it, three years later? <laughs> so in 2012, I went on the Dr. Phil show, and they, you know, they were looking for somebody who wanted to lose weight and had a big personality. So bam, Dr. Phil, I went on the show, and I did this diet called the Pink Method. I lost 85 pounds mm. in about in about eight months. Gained it back. Ah! <laughs> now, I did this the right way, but... See, what happens with me is that I get to 250. Let me tell you, 250 at 5'11 looks like a size 14, mm -hmm. okay? But I get to 250 and I get comfortable. Ah, can I get an amen for comfortable? Mm -hmm. Yes. I get, <laughs> so I get comfortable and the weight starts doing what? Creeping Comes back. back up, okay? So in 2013, I got sick. I was in a hospital. Um, and of course, you know, every year you want to work on it every every year you want to work on it and you, and you, and you try and work on the weight loss because at, at 300 pounds, you know, you, 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 you should always be on the weight loss journey. <laughs> no shade to anybody, <laughs> but at 300 pounds, you should always be on a weight loss journey. Um, so in 2013, I was, um, I was in a play and I was singing and dancing in a play and, um, I was I I was short of breath, but I thought it because I was just fat and tired. But no, it wasn't because I was fat and tired. It's because I had two blood clots in both Ooh. my lungs. So, so I had a bilateral pulmonary embolism, right? And I had a DVT in my leg. I had no idea. I was singing and dancing. I figured I was fat and tired. So um, that year, um, because I was in a hospital, what what did I do again? I got lazy, and the weight crept back up again. So in 2015, I told myself, you know what? I'm about to be 35 years old. A friend of mine um, um, did a weight loss journey in 2000, um, 2014. She told herself, you know what? I'm not going to be big on the other side of my 30s. Mm. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do that too. So I came up with Row Fit 35. Row is Renato Ophelia Whitaker, R-O-W, getting fit. And 35, and I left the 35 on because it's a reminder that if I'm still 36 and big, shame on me. <laughs> so, um, Row Fit 35 is um, healthy, is a, is a healthy weight loss challenge for myself, and it, it marks a milestone. Um, it's based upon a milestone, and that's the and that's turning 35. So, if anybody you know is on a weight loss journey and you are hitting a milestone like myself, I hit 35. I don't want to be fat at 36. And yes, I said the word fat. It's you know, it makes it makes people uncomfortable, but it is what it is. Can we be real? Can we just tell the mm. truth here? That is fat, okay? I am morbidly obese. Okay, <laughs> morbidly obese. We don't like that word morbidly, you know, and also in the plus size community, they don't want to have this conversation. But at the end of the day, morbidly obese means things on the inside of your body might be in danger. OK, so I told myself, no, ma'am, no, sir, I can't be morbidly obese anymore. I'm not going to be fat anymore. I'm taking charge of um, my life again. Third time's a charm. Last time I'm not playing. I cannot be. I'm tired of this. I don't have time for this no more. So since June, I lost 30 pounds. <laughs> I'm down 30 pounds. I'm at 279. Woohoo! I'm at two. I'm at it's actually 32 pounds. I'm at 279. 
and counting. Yeah, and then everybody always asks, so what are your weight loss goals? What do you want? You know, how do you how small do you want to be? And I'm like, I want to be a size two. <laughs> I'm like, I want to be a size two. They're like, oh, you're gonna look sick. You're gonna look sick. You're gonna be this. You're gonna be that. How do you know? Let me get there. I said, let me get there, right? <laughs> And then if I look sick, I'll get some ice cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, I've been a big girl. I'm telling you, I've been fast 2022 20, for a very, very, very long time. And I'm yeah, I, I want to see what a size two look like. Is it physically possible? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let me know what it feels like. I don't even want to be a size two. Uh -huh. I said, I'm not even trying to be no size two. Well, I mean, you know, see, here's the thing, you know, when, like I said, when I get to 250, I get comfortable, right? So like, and, and that's what everybody, and I can be, I can easily be a size 16 and at 250 and that's only what, 30 pounds away, mm -hmm. right? That's only 30 pounds away. Imagine if I got comfortable with being a size 16. Then guess what? I'll be creeping back up to a size 18. I don't want to give myself no room to creep back up to 300. No, ma'am. You are so right. Yeah. Give yourself, push yourself and strive for that. Maybe, man, what do I, I need am. to be? I need to, I got some weight loss goals. What is your, what is your advice for someone who's trying to go through a weight loss journey? Uh, they're trying to change their life. They're trying to get fit. What are some, what advice would you give them? So the biggest thing is everybody always think that it's going to be overnight. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and to that, I say patience and to start at your pace, right? You can't look at what everybody else is doing and think that you're going to do the same thing. No, ma'am. No, sir. At 279, I have about 100 more pounds to go. I'm just going to call it a spade a spade. I should be, and this is not just by white folks standards or whatever the case may be. Shout out to my white folks. <laughs> but um, I'm supposed to be about 180, 188, right? At my height because I'm 5'11". Um, and that is my goal. However, it's, I'm not going to be 180 at, in December, three months away. No. Slow and steady wins the race and go at your own pace. Don't try and run a marathon at, and you just getting started and you 315 pounds at 2'6". I mean, at 5'6". Okay? <laughs> um, and, that's, and, and, and a lot of people always say, well, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Cardio. Get your heart going. Get your heart rate going. And start, um, start just um, getting to a point where you're not tired when you are doing cardio. Cardio is cardio is the best thing for a weight loss journey. The number two thing is thing is you have to come to to the realization that you have to change your lifestyle, plain and simple. The the food that we eat, while it's good. It is detrimental to our bodies. On Thanksgiving Day, ain't nobody tell you to go in there and eat half a pan of macaroni and cheese. Now, you know better, okay? Mm. <laughs> you know better. You know half a pan of macaroni and cheese is not what you're supposed to be eating. Portion control and changing your eating habits is the other part of a healthy lifestyle and mm -hmm. getting fit in. And, and 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 doing a weight loss journey. You have to you have to rid if you know that sugar is your hindrance, if you know that you know sweets are your hindrance, if you know that soda is your hindrance, keep it out the house. You know, that's like taking a drunkard. Food, food is a drug. I mean, yeah. let's let's call it spade a spade. Food is a drug. Food is just like cocaine. Yeah. I, I mean every, every time you know, you, you pick up a, a piece of cake, you are hurting yourself, just like somebody getting a cigarette or just like somebody shooting on cocaine. It's the same thing, you know? You have to come to the realization that you are sick. One um one of my church members, you know, put it, put it in that context before. She says, it's a sickness. And 
And the other context that she put it in was, we believe God for everything else. Why can't we believe God to get this weight mm. off? Amen. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But you it know, takes it takes God. work and effort, and you know, faith without works. We got it. It's dead. We, gotta, we have Hello. to work. Hello. You gotta know your scripture, Shade. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta know. Your we gotta work on it. We have to work on our minds. We gotta work on our bodies and definitely our spirits too. It's a Mm-hmm. It's a triad of things we got to get together. So I definitely agree with that. I am going to open up to anyone in the audience who wants to hop in this, the hot seat. I can lock unlock it if you have any questions for Miss Renatha Whitaker as she is speaking about her weight loss journey, her experiences in the media. And I will be looking at Reality Wanted. What are, what are some of the tips that you have um, that have been successful for you with this website, Reality Wanted? So when I first started out on Reality Wanted, I put one picture up and a little blurb about myself and I got the Rachel Ray gig. <laughs> um, it was a, and it was like a cell phone picture too. It wasn't, um, you know, anything uh, professional or anything like that. It was just a cell phone picture, a little blurb about me. I'm a child of God, you know, that's it. Year, year higher me, you know? <laughs> So, um, but it is important to make sure you do have a good profile when when you do um, sign up for um, castings like that. Have a good profile and also um, put up what you've done, your interests, your personality, um, um, you know, just making sure that you tackle all aspects of who you are so that they can try and cast you for the best thing possible. So the next question that I have are, because I'm assuming you have some techniques and some strategies that you could be teaching people and monetizing. I'm just going to put that out there and building a brand behind this because uh, I'm pretty sure there's other websites and other things that you tips and tricks of the trade and even how to build rapport with the producers of these shows. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I know if they don't like you, they're not going to call you back, you know, so. Mm-hmm. I know there's some other things in there and I'm really going to encourage you to start thinking about how you can uh, package that into a service because there's so many people that would love to be on Rachel Way, love to be on Wendy yeah. Williams, love to be a recurring featured guest on Dr. Oz. So I'm just going to put that out there and feature it because you have the proof and you can definitely teach other people how to do that. Right. And monetize oh, thank that. You. I'm just going to put that out there. You heard me. <laughs> thank you. Heard you. Me. And look, it's on the list. <laughs> when is it going to happen? You got how many, we got less than 100 days left of 2015. We can mm-hmm. make this my third happen. quarter. My third quarter is full of great um, ways to monetize thyself. OK. Um, and, you know, and basically, you know, make sure that I help somebody help somebody else, you know, you know, be be in the i guess position that i am excellent 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 if anyone wants to pop in please let me know we'll try to keep this show shockingly under an hour that usually doesn't well <laughs> about 30 uh, go to 9 30 eastern standard time 8 30 central standard time that usually doesn't happen on blab i'm really surprised but if anyone what? wants to oh blabs last like a million years it just never ends oh my god <laughs> but they're fun we wow. have really good conversations we have good chat so i okay. i'm glad we're staying on topic i'm so proud today but if anyone wants to <laughs> hop in and talk to renatha and ha- ask her a question or you can type in your question in the the question section and comments bar and what we'll do is we'll i'll ask the questions and you guys can get your information from that so what are some of the, since we talked a little bit about 2015, you have some a couple of more media engagements with the Dr. Oz show. What are some of your goals for 2016? Oh, wow. So my goal, for, one of my biggest goals for 2016 is to finish my book. Um, I, have, I have begun writing a book um, based upon my life experiences. Um, you know, I've gone through a lot in my life. And, you know, if you, if you know me, you know that everything that I go through, good or bad, there's always a smile on my face. 
<laughs> so um, my book is basically a how-to book on um, basically how to um, stay positive in dark situations. Um, you know, how to always see the silver lining in the cloud, how to always see, um, you know, the good versus the bad in any kind of situation. Um, and let me just give you one of the stories. Um, the, I mean, I just, I have, I have lots, lots. My mom passed when I was 19. Um, I, my house burned down when I was 22. I mean, just a lot of things, you know, given that, given those two topics right there and the fact that I still have a smile on my face, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, um, so basically, you know, I'm teaching people, you know, how to basically, you know, keep things moving when, when it don't seem that good. Mm. So in 2016, you know, I'll be finished. Well, 2000, at the end of 2015, I'll be finishing up my book and you know getting into a publisher and you know that will be one of the top goals for, th for 2016. awesome you know? and it says uh kimberly collins is saying she's so proud of you for for not letting your weight loss setbacks setback stop you and that you're an inspiration to women who have who share the same struggle and there are so many women as we know that share that same struggle. Mm -hmm. I do too. When I overseas, I lost 30 pounds and I think maybe half of that is back. So wow. it's definitely a struggle, even though, you know, I'm not, people say, oh, you're small, but still, it's still a struggle. My family, oh, yeah. you know, we have diabetes and all those issues, health issues too. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying, I'm very cognizant of my weight and um, what I'm trying to be. You know, even though right now I really want a donut, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, with some ice cream. See, I'm distracted. It's that you know, Ooh, stop. You're distracted, distracted, Bring it distracted, in. Bring it distracted. In. Totally distracted right now. So it's a struggle and it's a balance, especially um, as an entrepreneur and a doctoral student. I don't have time to cook mm -hmm. all the time, but today I did slice up some cucumbers and I did have a, like a green smoothie. I'm proud of myself, but I still do want the donut. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get, we're going to get yeah, on so, track. We're going to get on track, but it takes you know, balance. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you so much, Kimberly. I appreciate you. Um, you know, and I guess it's the reason, I mean, the reason why I, you know, been able to keep that smile on my face because it's because, you know, it's really, you know, weight is, weight is, you know, one thing, right. But to know God, <laughs> to know God is another thing. And I, I really don't let anything, you know, get me down. I mean, I know it's so cliche, but I mean, like I said, I've been through so many things in my lifetime that I don't have time to be frustrated about a, a, a few pounds. Now, am I determined to get it off? Absolutely. You darn skippy. Am I comfortable? Am I comfortable in the skin that I am in? Absolutely. Because she's also a model. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. She's also, she's also a model. I do print work, you know, whenever I do, um, um, fashion things for my blog, I am the model. So, you know, um, but I mean, and that's how you stay grounded in your weight loss journey. Okay. Because you can't, you can't, you know, I'm telling you the scale moves up and down every day, every week it's up and down. You can't get discouraged by that stuff. You know, you can't get discouraged by that because guess what? They are non-scale victories as well. You can lose inches, okay? Mm -hmm. You can go further on the treadmill than you did the day before. That is a non-scale victory, okay? And anytime that you can, um, you know, um, increase in that kind of way is the victory in and of itself. It doesn't have to always be a scaled victory. So yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I can, I can laugh at it because I know every, um, my life does not hinder on my weight. Right. Um, but in the meantime, I'm still, I'm still working on it, you know? So, you know, that, that's, that's, that's just it. I don't have time to be, you know, down and out because the scale didn't move. Mm -mm, no, the scale didn't move, but the loop on my belt did. Hey man. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. The loop on my belt the did. And my victory. shoe fit better. The non-scale victory. Yeah. I love that. That's a great way to look That's at weight loss. Way Somebody put a message in. Yeah. That is a good one. Not, that is a good one. How can we stay connected to you? 
Oh, I hear the echo again. How can we stay connected to you? Oh, oh wow. So my website is renatha.com. And let me spell that for you. It's R-H-E and like Nancy O T like Tom H A. I am the only one in the world because my mama made me special. If you Google it, it's me. Okay. <laughs> um, so my website has everything on it. I have two radio shows as well. We didn't I talk know, about we didn't that. We talk about the radio shows. We can still talk about it. I have two radio shows um, on IBN Radio. That's In Your Spirit Broadcasting Network. That's out of Jersey. And I am also the morning show personality for The Vibe with Renata on K107 FM Jams, your number one gospel hit music station in Toronto, Canada. What? So you have a radio show in Canada? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's Toronto. Um, K107 FM Jams in Toronto, Canada, 9 a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. I do a radio, I have a radio show. You can look it up on the Tune In Radio app and just um, um, sign, look up uh, K107 FM. I didn't even know so she had a radio me. show in Canada. <laughs> I, didn't know. Yeah. I knew she had the one um, show, but I didn't know about the, the, Canada, the show in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And um, see, so yeah, like I said, my website, Renatha.com and all social media, all platforms are all Renatha. I don't have no underscore cutie pie or anything like that. My name is Brands Enough. Okay. <laughs> Bigger brand. I love Bigger having her on the show. Let me see. Is it any more? Okay. This is better. I love having this Renatha yes. who is her brand. She lives her brand and we talked about it. And even as, you know, um, a client in one of my master classes, and I've just seen how she's amplified her brand. Renatha, you know what you didn't show us, at least if you weren't going to sing for us, plug the video that you did. Oh my goodness. She's in crackers. Oh gosh. So as a, as a, um, as an anthem to my weight loss group, Rena, um, Row Fit 35, um, one day I was watching the Grammys and Kanye West and Rihanna's song came on, you know, four or five seconds from when, right, right, you know that song, four or five seconds, right, you know that song. So I remixed that song as a weight loss anthem, okay? Go to my YouTube, it is on my YouTube page, it is hilarious. Um, the, the lyrics on the verse that I did are real. Okay. Um, when I was watching that, the, the actual performance on four or five seconds, I said to myself, well, she four, five, four or five seconds from eating. Are you playing it? <laughs> I'm going to share the video. And Oh, thank you so much. So it's four or five seconds and it is a weight loss anthem. I will be, um, starting a class in Newark. To do a hip hop dance, a hip hop workout dance class to that song, actually with DJ Butter in New York. So <laughs> don't look at me like that. that they don't, your interviewees don't tell you <laughs> that they're doing. She has, she has a show. <laughs> she's going to be on Doctor Oz twice this week. Yeah, she was featured on Doctor Oz. Next, well, and, I'm I'm taping and twice next week. She has two more features on Doctor Oz. Hey, Avalora. So. <laughs> Three eleven times you've been on Dr. Oz. You've been on Rich <laughs> Ray, Wendy Williams. Then you said Dr. Phil. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Girl, stay with it. And this okay. is why I told her her larger than life personality definitely needs to be taken to the road to Periscope. Mm -hmm. So we know the day in the life of Miss Renata Whitaker. And we're seeing her weight loss journey. And we're seeing her as she's building her brand and just voluptuating. And I just can't wait <laughs> until... The album comes out. We saw, you know, we made we we discussed the strategy this summer. I remember we were having a conversation in the third quarter this summer about before the video launched. We yeah. developed a strategy and it went viral. Yeah. And I was like, I already knew. I already knew. <laughs> you know yeah. Successful yeah. people around and you have somebody who has a huge clap, just has a huge personality and so much to give and to share with people. I already knew. I was like, what? Why are we surprised? It was <laughs> like Facebook wow. and on YouTube, two different platforms. We oh. knew it. So what are the next steps? How can we support you? I put all the links to your YouTube video. I put the links to the Facebook group so that we can support you in your weight loss journey. And then also keep us posted on when you're going to be on Dr. Oz again and on other shows that you're going to be on. So 
Yeah. So, I mean, please follow me in, on all my platforms. Um, I am very, I, I post everything on my platform. Please subscribe to um, the the um, the blog, Full Figure Fabulous and On The Way To Fit. I do have constant contacts and I'm always sending out information. Um, you can certainly um, sign up for my email list on my website. Everything is on my website. Um, and just spread the word. If you know any curvy girl who's trying to, you know, get some pounds off, or if you know anybody who's reaching the milestone, tell them to come on down to Row Fit 35 Facebook group and I can help a sister out. Okay. Actually, it huh, doesn't even have to be women. Uh, men too. Shut Please. Let's go. Day, <laughs> okay. I'm in the group and every day she's posting videos of her at the gym and I'm looking like crap. I need to be at the gym too. Well, you know what? I mean, all those things we we, we gotta inc- keep the encouragement going. Gotta stay you know? encouraged. The consistent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does anyone else want to pop into the hot seat? Do you have any questions for Miss Renatha, media personality? Any questions about <laughs> getting on the media? She dropped a golden nugget about what is this reality wanted? I know she has other golden yeah. nuggets. And how she keeps a great relationship with the different producers on the shows that she's been featured on. Mm-hmm. And you're just an inspiration because, you know, us brown girls can make it happen, you know? Hello. You be- Hello. And, and we brown and don't got to look like Beyonce. No, okay. We don't have to be born and bred like, you know, right? Have a Beyonce to, to be in media. So I love right. that. Right. Uh, Alva Laura has asked, How did you get on Dr. Oz? We talked a little bit about it, but you can give us, um, Oh, wait a minute. I'm definitely interested in getting the media. See, people want to know, Renata, how did you do this? I'll put the link of the website that she did give us because I was not familiar with this. Yep, realitywanted.com. Copy. Realitywanted.com, actorsaccess.com. There are a lot of different um, places that are that are very inexpensive as well. You know, you don't have to spend the whole... I, I mean... I mean, gone are the days of people in the mall trying to recruit you for things. But please, gone are the days. <laughs> you know, you can you can pretty much you know get heard and be seen. You know, on your social media and just being who you are. I've gotten this far for being who I am, and through His name, Jesus Christ. Okay, I um, you know, I I, and today one of the ladies in my church called when she watched the show. She's eighty-one years old. She's like, you was just being you. <laughs> she said you were just being you my cousin and then my little cousin called she says i can't believe you cut up like that i said look i was just being me and they called you back <laughs> <laughs> so she was saying one of the quotes the quotable she had was you know tv is looking for a big personality someone who has a huge personality yeah. and a huge message to get out there and that's what we're looking for and she did give us that resource reality wanted and just posting a profile and making those connections so you don't you won't know unless you put yourself out there yeah, you have to put yourself out there. You can't, you can't have no, can't have no sideline success. All right, okay, <laughs> okay. Time out for that. You got to be proactive. You got to say yes. You got to do it anyway. Thank you, Tiffany and Leach, the budget needs to appreciate you, sugar. Do things anyway. And and I also, I used to say no. I used to think, well, maybe I. Well, so-and-so could do it better. You know, I used to do that to myself. So-and-so could do it better. No, I'm going to stop doing that mess. No. If they ask me, they ask me for a reason. Amen? Oh, am I teaching? That, oh. that was a word. You know, stop saying no <laughs> because you feel like you're inadequate. You feel like you're not good enough. And I, mm-hmm. I mean, I've done that. Somebody asked me to do something, yeah. and I was like, oh, can you get this person? Because I don't think I can do that. Stop, right. you know, say yes to these opportunities that start. And you know, let me um let me just give one quick story of one of the times that I thought I wasn't good enough. So um a friend of mine who knows me really well, she said, My nickname is Nana. Hey. So <laughs> she's like, Nana, can you host something for me? You know, I'm having Anthony Brown from group group therapy come. I want you to be the host for my anniversary. And I was like, Well. I said, well, you can ask someone so she could, she'll do a better job. You sure? You know? So then I, t- I turned it down 
And then Liz Black. I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with Liz Black, but Liz Black is the gospel music lady in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. She is the gospel music woman in um, the tri-state area. She's on WBLS. She's on WLIB. And she's all, you know, she, she does her own things. So Liz Black called her and said, you got a host for this? And she said, no. So basically, long story short, if I had said yes, I could have been co-hosting with Liz Black and I missed my opportunity. <laughs> so every I say yes to everything. I'm on a Shonda Rhimes tip. You know, Shonda Rhimes told herself this year that she was going to say yes to everything. So I'm saying yes to everything. I can't say no. Hashtag <laughs> say yes like Shonda Rhimes. Mm -hmm. so, yes. <laughs> it is so true. Sometimes we just feel inadequate, like we're not good enough. Maybe we're not the best fit for something. And if on us yeah. to step it up we gotta we gotta do it so we're live with miss renata whitaker media personality multiple t radio show hosts radio hosting a show in canada hosting another show in Jersey, <laughs> oh. uh multiple appearances on dr eyes rachel a wendy williams dr phil the list goes on and she's built a brand about just being herself and i just and i had to interview her because i just love what she's doing and she's Thank incorporating you. all the things that she wants to do and her love for God too, because <laughs> and build a platform around it. And when people say, I can't build a brand, I'm not a brand, I'm like, listen, be you. Do you. Yeah. That's like the best thing that you can possibly be. Like, shout out to the Diamond Diva. Nobody can be Premier Green like Premier Green can be her. That's the Diamond Diva. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, <laughs> Diamond Diva. Hey, girl. Diamond Diva, if you want to come in, Hey, socially, Nina, if you want to come in, just have some questions or comments. I would love for you guys to come in and add your input. Um, if anyone else, Avalora, who's on, I see some other folks. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being on here. If anyone wants to come in and chat with Renata, if you have any questions, whether it's about weight loss, her weight loss journey and fitness, her um, using that, leveraging her weight loss journey and fitness to get media coverage building a brand behind that journey. So you can, you don't, some people think, oh, I gotta, I gotta be the success story before mm -hmm. I can be the brand or before I can get the media coverage. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And she's doing, and you're building your brand and you're building the platform around the, yeah. the, you journey. know, you know, when, when I first, when, you know, I always said to myself, you know, I, I wanted to have like a Jennifer Hudson effect, right? You know, you remember when Jennifer Hudson came out with Weight Watchers and whatnot, she, um, you know, she came, she came on out. She was, she was a big Jen. And then all of a sudden she's big Jen. No, I mean, little Jen. No, I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to do that because guess what? Some big girls, they want, you can't have instantaneous little whoever you are. Um, right away, you got to be able to see it in the stages and um, go through it, you know. And and I, and I think that's why I'm unique because I'm going through it and I'm doing it and I'm showing people that they can too, oh. you know. I'm I don't, you know, I can't stand. <laughs> I can't. Well, I, I won't say that. Never mind. Hey, Michael, how are you? <laughs> Where are you coming in from today? I'm coming, Hi, Michael. Coming, coming in from British Columbia. How are you? We're doing awesome. You're coming in from British Columbia. Awesome. Do you have a question for Renata? I, I do. I'm a speaker. I'm, I have a physical challenge. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm a speaker. I'm, I have a really great slam on my, on my, on my career. I am a customer service speaker. Now, how can I get the media to pay attention to me? So Michael's question is about getting some media to pay attention to him. He's a customer service speaker. Thank you so much, Michael, for your question. Coming out of British Columbia. And I inspire, I'm looking at his uh, profile, I inspire other people to overcome their challenges with integrity. I love that. The book. Well, I think I think Michael, you know, the fact that you, Michael D. Haynes, okay, get Mike speaking, 
I think the fact that you are on here and you're, you know, your profile says that you, you know, you, you're encouraging other people to do the same thing. I think the fact that you're out here is already um, setting you up to get people to, you know, be encouraged because you are an encouragement all by yourself, sir. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the fact, I mean, you, you, you're amazing. Um, there's, I mean, I guess that's, there's not much more I can say. You're um, blessed to be a blessing to somebody else. And I mean, that's, you're awesome. You being out here is getting people out here. Out here. Okay. Hashtag out here. But, but <laughs> I really wanted to get the media to I wanted to get on the, on the, on the, uh, in the media, like um, I really, I want to become like you. How have you reached out to any um, local media outlets in British Columbia? Because I'm not yeah. familiar with their media. Um... Like uh, I want to get into Doctor Phil. I want to get into Oprah. Mm. Like I, I don't want to. I don't want to play small. I want to go big. Go big or go home. Go big or go big or go home. That's right. <laughs> Michael, do you have a website? Can you share it with us in the box? In I the chat box. It's MichaelDHaines.com. MichaelDHaines.com. So. What would I say as someone who does some, uh, thank you, Nina. So what would I suggest? The first thing that I would suggest is align with people who are going to support you in your calls for speaking to get on these bigger platforms. So get the support systems in place and build that fan base. So once you start building that fan base, people will start telling others about you. And then that's when the celebrities start finding you. Partially it's part of you seeking out the opportunities yourself. And then also having a tribe that's going to be screaming and yelling your name everywhere you go. Yeah. So I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking on your website. Uh, it says, "Let me speak with you." If you have like, um, I don't see your picture on the website, Michael. Can you add a picture of yourself? I'm in the middle of rebuilding it. Awesome. Okay. So when you get the, the new revised revamped website, make sure there's a picture so we can connect with you, see who you are and connect with your story. Maybe even if there's like a video, I would love to see um, you talking about that. He's doing a launch. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. When is the launch coming out? I hope later this week. Woo! So please keep me posted. I'm following you on Blab. So I can see what's going on with this launch. And if anything I can do, I would love to um, support it. We agree. Oh, awesome. We've all agreed to support him on Blab. Excellent. So you have Team Blab. Nina is on the case. So I'm not even worried about it. You got socially Nina. Nina social media. So you're in good hands. You're in good hands, Michael. I'm not even going to touch it because we got, um, did you just oh, decide on the hashtag? So yes. So it looks like Nina is plotting a, a viral movement. So I'm, right. I'm down for it. We're here to support. I'm following you now on Blab. So please keep me posted and let me know what's going on with that. Um, Incredible. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Thank, you are absolutely phenomenal too. And your, your, your story is going to impact and change other people's lives. And that's what this I, that's what this show was about, and that's why I'm so happy for this platform. I I love Blab. I'm a Blabaholic. Blabaholic. <laughs> Blab addicts. Blab addicts. I have a great night. You two have a great night, Michael. It was a pleasure meeting you. And you night, Michael. And you go, girl. Have a good night, Michael. Good night out here with Michael. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the world. I love it. Blab away. Blab away. <laughs> I, like that one. I haven't heard that one. Blab away. Welcome. Are there any other people who would like to jump into the chat? If not, 
I like to keep my blabs quick and concise, but you know, that never really happens. <laughs> that would like to jump into the chat. Anyone else has any co comments, questions for Miss Renatha Whitaker? If not, I know she got some shows to get okay. ready for and some more personalities to be in some songs. Would you like to end us out in a song? Why not? <clears throat> Don't you hate that when people say, <laughs> Give us a song, people. Give us a song. Let's end out in a song. Um, so I really love hymns. Um, excuse me. I love the Lord Jesus. I can't help it. <laughs> I really love hymns. So, and there's a, um, a hymn that I love to sing. I want Jesus to walk with me. So I'll do a, 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 the end of that. Um, oh, my hey, Lord. Oh, my hey. Oh, my Lord, oh, my hand, while I'm on this journey, I want you, Lord, to how you end the blab. Woo! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the sixth episode of Brand on Blab, where we blab blab about branding. This has been amazing.